Hello and welcome to pmslounge.com. Today, uh, well, we are talking about extreme programming, but definitely not extreme sports as uh, the image suggests. So, yeah, so the image is about extreme sports, but today the video is about extreme programming. And what is extreme programming? How and where does it fit in the project management picture? That's the topic of the video. So we've done uh, several other nutshell videos uh, recently. We've talked about Scrum, we've talked about Kanban, Lean, Six Sigma and stuff like that. I'll share a link to all of them in the description below. So if you want to check out those videos, feel free to do so in the description. The playlist is available in the description. And of course, as always, if you want to read something rather than watch a video, head over to pmclounge.com and the uh, article on extreme programming that will also be linked in the description so let's talk about extreme programming in in a nutshell so just like scrum extreme programming relies on quick sprints frequent releases and constant stakeholder collaboration that can improve productivity so just like scrum right we, we are relying on quick releases here we are releasing as often as we can now how does these frequent releases help so these basically introduce checkpoints at which new customer requirements can be adopted so just like how we saw in agile um, how we already know that there is a product backlog and every now and then uh, after each release we uh, revisit the product backlog we take requirements out of it piece of work out of it and deliver them that is what extreme programming is also about in 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 a slightly different fashion wherein these releases are basically checkpoints and you can speak to the customers for other requirements at these checkpoints the idea is that this will help in avoiding employee burnout as well as increase the quality of deliverables so if you have uh, to break a mountain that's a lot of requirements right there right but if you have to break 20 pieces of rock big rocks well those are smaller requirements of sorts and this will help in avoiding employee burnout that's the whole idea of extreme programming is now it is abbreviated as x P. So if you read XP somewhere in terms of project management, in terms of extreme programming, in terms of agile, you already know that we are talking about extreme programming here. So it is a type of agile software development. So all of this basically belongs to the agile family. A lot of you ask us what uh, books to buy. So head over to pmclounge.com slash resources. This is the link where you can go in and buy the books that you need. All right, let's look into some of the important elements of extreme programming. Number one is programming in pairs or doing extensive code review. So programming in pairs is exactly what it sounds like. Two senior engineers sit together and they do programming so that there is a constant, right? Simultaneous code review also taking place, which here talks about extensive code review. So this is the concept of programming in pairs. Unit testing of all code, again, extremely important. Every single code, single line of code that is being written, that will go through uh, unit testing. Avoiding programming of features until they are actually needed. Now, this is important. Uh, in Waterfall, our traditional software projects, you have features all in all, uh, through and through, a lot of features which will be delivered as part of each release. but here in extreme programming we avoid programming features until they are actually needed so only when the requirement is frozen only when features are uh, have to are mandatory right they have to be a part of extreme programming that is when you will program for features expecting changes in the customer's requirements as time passes and then problem and the problem is better understood so you are expecting changes here you are not uh, you know avoiding changes or looking at changes uh, with 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 um, you know uh, thinking as if this is something bad you you are not thinking that changes are bad you are actually expecting changes that's the whole idea of extreme programming 
Frequent communication with the customer, as we have seen at every release point, which is a checkpoint, you go back to the customer, you ask them for requirements, and you have frequent communication with the customer. And among programmers as well, pair programming is an example of uh, of that uh, of that concept, right? Wherein you are basically you basically have two programmers co-located, and they program in pair. So. Uh, this is definitely encouraging frequent communication among programmers as well. So these were some of the elements of extreme programming. So what's so extreme here? I'm pretty sure you must be wondering and specifically after we put in an extreme sports uh, picture in the beginning of this video, what is so extreme here? Why the name extreme programming? So the methodology, this methodology, basically it takes its name from the idea that beneficial elements of traditional software engineering practices let's say beneficial elements of waterfall model for instance are taken to extreme levels so what they are trying to do with extreme programming is take everything that is good about other methodologies other ways of managing projects and take those beneficial items to the extreme to the extreme here means max them up uh, you know uh, take advantage of them as much as possible so increase them as much as possible so for for example you have got code reviews right and code reviews are considered extremely beneficial even in uh, in all kinds of project management practices and all kinds of software development you will see that code review is something which is extremely beneficial so taking that to the extreme when you take code reviews to extreme code is being reviewed continuously simultaneously because another programmer is sitting right beside you while you're programming so this is also known as the practice of pair programming in extreme programming so that's all that we had in this introduction to extreme programming video i hope you understand what really extreme programming is subscribe to the channel we are all about project management we are all about pmp certification and do hit the like button if you enjoy the video hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload our next video and don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource thank you